A new food hub attracted dignitaries, politicians, and officials from the U.S. Department of Agriculture to Little Falls today. The facility is called Sprout and will serve as a year-round market for growers and artists to market their locally produced food and artworks in central Minnesota. Our Chelsea Brown has more. Hundreds gathered inside the new warehouse for the grand opening of Sprout, the newest growers and makers market. That greater Minnesota, where the food comes from for the most part, um, has just as much of an interest uh, in healthy foods and local pro produce and things that are made uh, right here in Minnesota. Sprout's mission is to bring healthy foods to surrounding communities. The goal is exciting, is to think about, you know, how do we get growers in here to be able to do value-added producer work? And so if they're making jams and they don't have a community kitchen or they have berries left over from the end of the year, where can they go to create a commodity that it, they can sell during the winter? The facility will work with over 60 family farmers in the six county region to help aggregate and distribute enough food to fill institutional orders. So more and more um, people are demanding local food and we need the infrastructure, so the infrastructure of a facility where we can hold and process that food. What this facility provides is not only a place to market locally produced food and work, but also a facility to store and freeze products year-round. You know, folks that need to do flash freezing, and so it's a place not only for us to process food for school districts and more of a market, but it's also a place for our growers to come. Minnesota is home to 75,000 farms and is the fifth largest ag state in the country. The new marketplace hopes to facilitate communication between local growers and serve as a destination for community and economic advancement. It's going to be community driven. The community has been absolutely completely supportive of this facility, not only for uh, the food hub and for the kitchens, but also for an indoor marketplace where we can continue to experience the community building that goes on during the summer at our farmer's market. Even after three years in the making, Jones still hopes to grow by filling this location to its capacity so they can expand to having more within Minnesota. In Little Falls, Chelsea Brown, Lakeland News. A second market will be held tomorrow beginning at 9 for locals to view the new facility and feature local growers and artists. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.